Well, Team Aegis is one of the multiple teams of collaborations of universities working on the NASA Suits Challenge. Uh, Team Aegis, specifically, is a collaboration between the University of Southern California and UC Berkeley. Team Aegis comprises of uh, students from both USC and UC Berkeley, with a wide variety of members from many, many different ethnic backgrounds and, of course, disciplines. The application we are developing this year is called Senva 2, which is an iteration upon previous year's application, Senva. And what it stands for is the Surface Exploration Navigation Visual Assistant. Senva is an augmented reality heads up display that provides crucial information to astronauts on extravehicular operations. So this is going to help them lower their cognitive load, which will lead to less mistakes during such crucial times. And on top of that, Senva is equipped with a lot of safety features, such as navigational assistance. We also have navigational markers that will essentially place X's on positions in front of the astronaut that are not safe to walk on. And finally, a long-range navigation module, which is kind of like Google Earth, but on the moon. Um, as on Earth, we have a lot of navigation and uh, GPS uh, technology. We would also require something like that on Moon. So in case an astronaut gets lost or uh, requires immediate assistance, then we can use Senva to uh, help the astronaut on Moon. Senva 2 brings some major improvements from our original application from last year. This year, we are doubling down on our use of artificial intelligent technologies but also introducing a computer vision module, which will assist astronauts with the umbilical interface assembly egress uh, procedure. Um, well, second iteration, the first improvement is a new uh, addition of the rover, the new addition of the vision kit, and then we are also um, redoing or um, upgrading our AI components to have different aspects to interact with the rover and also uh, more deeper aspects when it comes to navigation. The new aspects of NASA suits with the rover and the vision kit, something that we haven't had before, so I'm very excited to work on that and see how it goes. Human enabling technologies is going to be, are going to be really important, and we want to use Senva 2.0 as a solution to address some of those. The, one of the more important features of something like this is to allow everyone who's using it to use it to the best of its ability and their ability. It's being able to customize all of the menus to make it safer and more and easier for anyone who's using the system to access all of its functions. This includes contrast for people who may be colorblind, um, like text size for people who may have issues reading. I think that Samba's applications in space is definitely the beginning of it's definitely the beginning of a lot of augmented reality enabled applications that can make it into the hands of consumers. We are doing something that's absolutely cutting edge and uh, it's exciting because uh, we are working on something that will not only um, help solve a lot of real life world problems but also some problems in space so it's really exciting.